Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, we're going to be putting the Trimble R12i up against the Hemisphere S631. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to be putting the Trimble R12i on its own base and the Hemisphere S631 on its own base. We're going to be using the latest CMR protocol for the Trimble, and we're going to be using RTCM 3 MSM for the Hemisphere S631, and we're going to see how these two receivers perform side by side in difficult multi-path environments. So let's get right into the video. What we did in our first test is we took the receivers under a pair of smaller pine trees. The trees weren't too heavily canopied and it shouldn't have been any issue for either of these receivers. And you can see here, both receivers are fixing relatively quick with the Trimble coming in first at about 6.2 seconds, followed by the Hemisphere at 11.5. Again, nothing too difficult. The buildings aren't too close. The trees aren't too big. This is a relatively easy test for these two receivers. This test is definitely one of the more difficult ones we're going to do during the day. And what it is, is it takes out the entire south side of the sky. So we're up against the cathedral in downtown Calgary here. And by going right up against the building here with the south sky obstructed, we're actually taking out the majority of our satellites. So this is a great test for seeing how these receivers perform with a lower satellite count, a less than optimal satellite geometry. And what you're gonna see here is with both receivers side by side in at the same time, so they're gonna be seeing the same conditions, we're actually gonna have the hemisphere fix well ahead of the Trimble here. So and you can see as these receivers are ticking along here, this is a really difficult shot. They're having to do a lot of multipath mitigation, a lot of filtering out of bad signals to try to figure out what they can use and what they can't use. And you're going to see just before the one minute mark, the hemisphere gets a fixed solution right up against the building here. At 56.7 seconds, we've got a fixed solution. And you can see here, we're, we've got a good fix. And if we go over to the Trimble here, we're still floating. We're still waiting for a fix. We're sitting at 30 sense right now which not ideal and we're going to sit here we'll wait a bit longer see if that trimble can fix uh, and as we sit here the trimble just never could get a fix while we we're sitting here um, so the hemisphere it's showing its worth on those lower satellite count environments and you can see as we're sitting here waiting for that trimble to fix it just never gets that fixed solution over a minute and a half after the hemisphere fixed we just didn't get anything from the Trimble, so we decided to move on. Okay, for our next tree shot, what we did is we found a cluster of four or five big, tall pine trees here, and we threw the receivers down in the middle of them. So this should be another good test on that multipath technology. You can see the Trimble, again, super quick in these tree environments, 5.8 seconds, and the hemisphere wasn't far behind at 8.062, and it might have been a bit faster, but uh, unfortunately our screen turned off there. So we decided to run this test again. We dumped the antennas. Um, and we're going to walk in and see if we get that, uh, see if we get those same times in this treed environment. Again, this is a more difficult uh, position for these receivers in this heavily treed environment. Again, you can see there's a lot of snow on the ground, so unfortunately we can test this under any leafy trees at the moment. But what you're going to see is, as we put the receivers into the stand and flip them over and let them compute their position again, the hemisphere is actually going to win out this time, and it's not going to win out by a couple of seconds like the Trimble did. It's going to win out by about 15 seconds. So you're going to see here, hemisphere fixes in about 15 seconds, and the Trimble, we're going to have to wait a full 30 seconds for the fix solution. So you're going to see 16.1 seconds for the hemisphere. And again, you're going to see RTK fix there on the hemisphere. And if we go over to the Trimble, we're still waiting on the fix solution. And at 38.3 seconds, we get the fix on the Trimble. So again, both receivers able to get that fix in that difficult multipath environment, but the Trimble is starting to fall behind and in several of these categories. The last test of the day was definitely our most difficult test. We put the stand into the crook of this bridge here, and this is blocking out three quarters of our sky, including the south sky, which I mentioned is where most of our satellites are where we are up here in Calgary. And what we're going to do is once we, again, we're going to dump the antenna, walk it in, and put the receivers in the stand. And what we're going to see here as the receivers are computing their position is the hemisphere actually fixes in 15.5 seconds well ahead of the Trimble. You can see here we got that RTK fixed, and if we go check on the Trimble, we've still got that float solution. And what we're going to do is if we back out here, we're going to see if that Trimble ever fixes in this position. 
And at a minute and 15 here, you can see Hemisphere is still holding that fixed position and the Trimble was not fixed. And the residuals were not getting any better, so we decided to give up on this test. But before we went away, we decided to run one last test where we actually switch positions, because it appears the trimble is a bit closer to the bridge, so it should be in a bit more of a difficult position. So we're gonna switch them on the stand and see if that makes any kind of difference on the performance. And what we're gonna see, trimble's up, hemisphere's up, they're both in the stand, and we'll see if either of them can fix with the hemisphere in the more difficult position now. And you can see it's taken the hemisphere a bit longer, but it only took it seven seconds longer, 23.8 seconds. We've got that RTK fixed solution. We look over at the Trimble, we're still floating with some pretty not great residuals right now. And we'll pull back and we'll see if that Trimble can resolve its position. Remember the hemisphere got there in 16 seconds. We're already at 45 seconds and we're still waiting on the trimble. And again, as we bring it in, you can see here the hemisphere is still fixed and their trimble at a minute 45, still no fixed solution and the residuals weren't coming down. So we decided to give the test up there. Those are the results of the test there. We can see that the hemisphere S631 definitely outperforms the R12i in those difficult low satellite environments. And in the multi-path canopy environments, the hemisphere S631 can stand toe to toe with that trimble R12i if not outperform it in a couple of different situations. And you gotta remember, those Trimble R12Is are not cheap receivers. For a price of about one Trimble R12I, you can get three to four Hemisphere S631 receivers. So when you're looking at buying your next RTK receiver, maybe take a moment and get a price on that Hemisphere S631, whether it is from us or someone else, at least price check those Trimble guys, because you can get the same performance for a lot less money. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is the Trimble R12i up against the Hemisphere S631. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button, let us know what you thought about the video. Is there a receiver you want us to test out? Let us know down below. But if you want more information on the Hemisphere S631, maybe you want to try it out, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark dot ca